What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So if you just picked up a pair of wireless headphones or wireless earbuds and you're wondering how to set those up with your Go XLR for your stream or whatever it is you're trying to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. I have a pair of the Sony InZone Buds with me right now. That's what I'm going to be using for this, but this works for any wireless headset. And it's even easier if you have a wireless headset that comes with a game DAC that sits on your desk that has a line in or a line out. So it's pretty simple. You're just going to need a few things. First thing you're going to need is an audio cable a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And the next part is completely optional, but you can get a ground loop isolator for about six bucks on Amazon. This will help with reducing any noise that would be in the line. So all you really need is these two things to be able to use your wireless headphones or earbuds with your Go XLR. So without further ado, guys, let's dive in. So I'm gonna pop the earbuds in my ears right now so that they turn on and I can hear and make sure we're doing everything correct. Give them a second to initialize and let's take a look at my screen. Okay, so this is the InZone software for my earbuds. We can get rid of that for now. So what we're gonna do first is go down to our tray, right click on our sound and go to open sound settings. Once we're here, make sure before we do anything else that you guys have plugged in that audio cable. You're gonna run one end of it from the headphone jack, the line out basically from the Go XLR. And then the other end of it is gonna go into that ground loop isolator if you have one. And then the other end of that is gonna go into the line in on the back of your PC, which would be the blue audio cable port. If you're using a headset that has a game DAC, basically a station that is sitting on your desk you, uh, working as like a, a little mixer interface, um, you can run from the Go XLR headphone jack to the line in on your game DAC. It would be the same thing as for the PC. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be using the line in on our PC. So we're going to open up our sound settings, right? And then for our output device, we're going to switch this to the Go XLR system right here. And then for our chat mic here, we're gonna switch this to line in just for right now. And then afterwards we will mess with some other things. Now up to the top right here, we're gonna to go to sound control panel. Open that up and you're gonna get this little box right here. We're gonna head over to the recording tab and we're gonna scroll down until we find our line in on our PC. We're gonna right click this. We're gonna to go to properties and we're going to go to listen. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to click listen to this device and then play back through this device. We're going to select whatever your headset is that you're wearing currently. Uh, mine are the InZone Buds. We want the InZone Buds game audio apply. Now, after doing that, your Go XLR will function perfectly with your wireless headphones or earbuds. You can use all the exact same functionality. It's basically as if you plugged in a headset into the Go XLR itself. Now, keep in mind though, that when using wireless headphones, even if you have extremely low latency wireless headphones or earbuds, there may be a tiny bit of delay when listening to your own voice. So I do suggest that if you are using wireless headphones or earbuds when streaming with the Go XLR, I would turn off voice monitoring, uh, basically stop routing your microphone to your headphones because hearing your own voice is going to sound a little bit different than when you plugged it in to the Go XLR. There's not a massive delay, but it's tiny enough where like you'll hear your own voice and you'll It'll make you crazy. Uh, like really, I tried it before and I was like, whoa, this is perfect, except for the fact that I don't want to monitor my voice anymore uh, with using wireless headphones or earbuds. So that's how you would set it up. It works perfectly. You can stream with your wireless headset using the Go XLR. Um, there's other ways you could do this with voice meter and things like that, but using other software and programs does tend to add a little bit more latency and we want to keep it as low latency as possible. In my opinion, this is perfectly usable. You can stream. You would never even notice the delay unless you're monitoring your voice. It's very, very small, but being able to speak and like, you know, you hear yourself talking in your head, but then also hearing yourself back like a millisecond behind, it will literally drive you crazy. So really the way around that is to just open up your Go XLR software. You would go to the mixer tab and you would go to mic monitor and just crank this down. If that doesn't work and doesn't lower it enough and you're still hearing it, you can head over to the routing tab and just basically take your microphone off of your headphones. Your microphone will no longer be going to your headphones, but it will still be going to the line out. So it will still be uh, uh, heard on your stream as well as the broadcast stream mix. Um, so yeah, that's how you would do that guys. It works flawlessly. It's the only way to really do it with the most 
minimal level of latency possible. It is usable. I would use it myself. I will be using it on my stream from time to time on long sessions because I do find that my Sony in zones are a little bit more comfortable than wearing over ear headphones. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hammerdance. I'll drop a link to that in the description below this video. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you today. So I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.